Welcome to this video where I will be showing you how I make shims on the table saw. I will also show you how I made this job site shim jig out of scrap materials. And in the end I will show you why my old shim jig for the table saw was not a good idea. We'll start with a piece of scrap uh, OSB sheathing. This is just something I had laying around in the garage. It's about 35 point by 40 something centimeters. And the grooves on my table saw is 20 millimeters wide. I have this uh, piece of scrap board that is 19 millimeters. And we need to rip that down so it just barely goes over the surface of the table by a millimeter or so. So I think I ripped this at 11 millimeters. I believe it's one centimeter deep. Now it fits snugly and is about a millimeter over the surface of the table saw. <laughs> we need to cut uh, the piece of uh, wood down to fit the uh, width of the of the OSB board make two of them one for each groove in the table I'll take down the saw blade so that the OSB sheathing can lay flat on the table surface and I'll put the two pieces of wood in the grooves of the table and I'll align them at the uh, end of the table. I put the OSB sheathing where I would like to have it and I take the fence of the saw and use that as a guide. I'm putting the OSB sheathing a bit off center in comparison to the pieces of wood in the grooves. That's just so I have more space on one side. Now I'm just using some CA glue, super glue, put that on the uh, pieces of wood. And I'm taking the OSB sheathing and spraying some activator where we'll glue the two parts together. And then we'll just lay the piece of OSB on top of the two wood pieces and press down for 5-10 seconds. You could also secure these pieces of wood with some brad nails or something like that. I'm not going to because this is a cheap, easy, fast jig. As you can see, the jig or the OSP is now sliding fairly easily in the grooves. Now I have some scrap one and a half inch by three inches 
pieces of wood. This one is painted grey. Don't know why. I will need to cut that uh, to the length of the width of the, the jig we're making. I'll just use some deck screws to uh, attach the pieces of uh, one and a half inch by uh, three inches wood to the OSB sheathing. You could glue this as well, but as before, it's just a cheap, fast, easy jig to make. It's not supposed to look pretty. It's not supposed to last forever, it's just something that you make when you need jigs on the job site. It's up to you how beautiful you want to make this thing. I'm more of a it needs to function guy. Right now I'm just putting uh, the rest of the screws in, three to each side of uh, where the saw blade will uh, go through. Do not put one where the saw blade is. Now you can see that it's almost like a sled. What I'm doing now is just getting a rough measurement to the end of the jig to where the saw blade is. And I get two pieces of the wood we made for uh, putting in the grooves, two scrap pieces from there. And I'm just cutting them down. Now I'm taking the CA glue and putting it on the long strip and just gluing it down towards the end of the jig. And a small strip, it's about 10 centimeters or 4 inches tall, and gluing that on the end of the jig. Now I'm just making a cut, a bit too shallow this time, I have to cut it again to cut off the long piece of wood that we glued. If you can see what mistake I did here, I glued the entire piece of wood, so we need to break that off. Now I'm just taking another piece of uh, OSB. This one is 10, 10 and a half centimeters wide. I'm making a square mark on it. It just needs to be longer than from the side of the jig to the saw blade. And I'm marking in 12 millimeters, that's half an inch. I'm making an angled line from the top to the bottom. Here we have essentially a drawing of the shim when we we're making. We need to freehand cut this, that's fairly easy. Now we put the jig on the table and we put the end where we cut the angle towards the stop block on the end. We need to rise the blade a bit and then we just cut it off. And turn the piece around. You can see we have a nice place we can put our wood to make uh, the shims. And you can make many of these for different sizes of shims.
I like to use old scraps of the deck boards to make uh, to make shims. They're usually laying around on the job site. I just cut them down to 10 centimeters. As you can see, you have to turn around the piece of wood you're making shims of every time. And you can also see the reason why I put the little strip of wood at the uh, end of the jig. So that it raises the part you're cutting a bit up. Because every other cut it will be on an angle. And every other cut it will be square with the saw blade. Here, in a matter of 20-30 seconds, we made 8-10 shims. It's important that you keep your fingers on the piece of wood you're cutting. As you can see from this clip, I have the camera in front of me and I don't have long enough hands to hold the piece of wood I'm cutting. As you can see right now, it's starting to lift. But you don't want to use too much pressure and it will just catch the blade and uh, throw it against you. Here is the shims that I made today, ready for a job tomorrow. And now I will show you my uh, my old jig. As you can see, this was a simple jig with the possibility of making four different kinds of uh, shims. As you can see, I do not have a riving knife or a blade guard on this saw. And that's what really made this almost accident happen. My arm is in the way, but you can hear exactly what happens. The shim went down in the hole where the riving knife is supposed to be, and it caught the blade. I was too slow to react, didn't stop the saw, and it just flew up and hit me right next to the eye. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.